The Cybertruck is a, one of these rare moments where, in a way, form followed function. Elon Musk's latest pet project, the Cybertruck, is unlike anything that came before it. While there is constant debate over the aesthetics of the Cybertruck, nobody seems to be aware that Elon Musk's idea for this vehicle was the result of some clever math. So what's the real reason Tesla developed the Cybertruck? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. There's a lot of new things in Cybertruck when we're reinventing a product. The Cybertruck is nothing more than a product of first principles design that set out to create the most durable, strongest, and cost-effective machine possible. Where did the idea of Cybertruck originate? The truck's design seems inspired by 1980s science fiction films Musk watched as a teenager. It shares a lot aesthetically with the DeLorean from Back to the Future given the metal finish and angular designs of both vehicles. And it's also no coincidence when Musk held the unveiling of the Cybertruck in November of 2019 in which the first Blade Runner film was set in. Next, we're going to break down the engineering techniques involved in creating the Cybertruck. Obviously, the most striking thing about the Cybertruck's final design is that it's wide and edgy. The designers over at Tesla thought of a rugged, durable, and practical truck that's good for all purposes. But how durable is it than other pickup trucks? Tesla's made it so that no moment slips by where you're not gazing at the Cybertruck. But not just because of the design itself, but the material that the Cybertruck is built out of is an innovation in of itself. According to Tesla, the Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance. From the ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to the Tesla armor glass, they are not a typical material to build a car with. The Cybertruck truly could be the ultimate truck ever once released. This makes the Cybertruck more than just a cool looking toy. With its stainless steel body, it will outlast the F-150 Lightning in all kinds of harsh environments like rain, ice, snow, mud, road salts, load impacts, and body impacts. This will be a great innovation for owners who live in northern climates like Buffalo, New York, where cities use salt on the roads in the winter. If you grew up in such a city, all cars, even ones with a coated undercarriage, got rusted out after a few years. So we really wanted to use stainless steel as a material so that the hardest part of the vehicle was on the outside, not the delicate paint. The safety factor for many people will be the main selling point. Elon Musk developed Cybertruck also for this reason as well. So how safe is it? The Tesla Cybertruck has already earned quite a reputation for being made of virtually indestructible steel. The question becomes then whether or not it's advantageous when it comes to being involved in a crash. Many vehicles do not have reinforced steel. This means that the side door panels can easily be penetrated. In a fierce collision, it could result in sharp metal from the other vehicle coming through the door and impacting the passengers inside. This steel is cold rolled in the factory 30 times. No other vehicle on the road today can make this claim. That is why many people are excited about the Cybertruck. Having doors that can withstand impact at potentially high speeds is a good thing. This can keep the driver and all passengers protected from other vehicles that the truck might get in an accident with. Now how about the Cybertruck's triangular shape. If you've seen pictures of the prototype for the Tesla Cybertruck, then you are aware that it has a triangle shape on the top. At first glance, this might make the truck appear weak and fragile. Those two components would not bode well in a rollover accident. In fact, if a triangle can support that amount of steel, then it must surely be a good fit for the heavy and durable Tesla Cybertruck. Because of the triangular design, it is felt that this is the reason that the steel panels on the Cybertruck are so thick. This creates a truck 
body that can withstand a great deal of pressure. While you can't say that a triangle roof is any stronger than another design, you can say that it is more effective at spreading around the energy caused by a forceful impact. Now, how does Tesla save money when developing the Cybertruck? But Cybertruck is really born out of the idea of a different way of manufacturing. Elon Musk's way of manufacturing Cybertruck is very wise because he integrated and used the same steel as the Starship from SpaceX. The economy of scale means reduced material costs across the board. Moreover, the entire Cybertruck's frame, from the wheel wells to the front bumper, is a single casting by the Gigapress 9000 ton. Speaking about how massive of a machine we are talking about, here are five grown men standing inside the Gigapress Platin. Tesla has eliminated hundreds of steps in the Model Y vehicle manufacturing process, including hundreds of robotic arms that stitch together hundreds of tiny stamped pieces. The stitches used to make a frame would be welded and fastened, and they would all be turned by some giant casting press. The Cybertruck will also be spared of this process, greatly simplifying its manufacturing process and reduce its costs. Following the success of the integration of large casting technology, several other automakers are apparently looking to follow in Tesla's footsteps. Is there any other reason why Musk would develop such a truck? Musk is also notoriously obsessed with power. In fact, Tesla's first vehicle was a high-end sports car, and the entrepreneur claims that the Cybertruck can go 0-60 to 60 in as little as 2.9 seconds. For comparison, you already know that Porsche models are are world-renowned for their incredible performance and capability. Musk proudly displayed video footage of the Cybertruck racing a Porsche 911 and listened as the crowd incredulously applauded when the Cybertruck overtook the Porsche 911 almost instantly, despite the other car having a slight head start. Do you like the design of the Cybertruck? And do you think it'll become the future of electric pickups? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.